hi guys welcome back to my channel today is tuesday and i've got a bit of an update for you so my last vlog was about a week ago and obviously i was in the full swing of homeschooling and was kind of set on that for ellie and um, but yeah we made a decision me paul and ellie to send her back to school so she's only going to be doing Monday and Tuesdays. Um, so yesterday she had her first day, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, and she's currently at school today. And it was the best decision I've ever made. Um, and it was a couple of weeks ago I spoke to Ellie and I said, you know, do you want to return back to school? And she was a bit kind of, you know, confused. And she was like, yes, no. If I won't be able to hug my friends, I don't want to go, and you know, all of this. And then um, some of her friends started a week ago, and I spoke to the school mums, and they said it's pretty much exactly the same, but there are a few obviously different things for social distancing, such as queuing up, and um, they've got their own table and things like that, but um, they've kept it very normal in her school, and um, but they're still kind of like on on top of everything if that makes sense and uh, make sure everyone's safe and stuff so um yeah when ellie obviously found out all her friends went back she straight away was like begging me mommy i want to go back um, and then you know i spoke to her and sat her down and said it will be a little bit different and you know um you might not be able to play with your friends and stuff like that and um she's at the age where she understands and you know we had a really good long conversation with her me and Paul and she literally could not wait to go and I think seeing her friends go she thought obviously she just missed them so much and she has been missing them throughout this whole lockdown I mean she's been facetiming them but it's just not the same as it so um yeah I was like only if you're sure you know you're still going to school to learn it's not just to see your friends you will be learning as well and she missed her teacher so so much like she talks about him all the time yeah she misses her friends and teachers and she was at the point where she was begging me and she was getting a little bit upset so i said okay you know you can go to school next week for two days and see how you go and with her school you can also pull her out at any time so if i felt like actually i don't think you're ready or you know I, i'm too worried and things like that i can take her out of school you won't get fined or anything um so yeah, obviously I quite like that it is two days as well and it's not full time because obviously things are still going on in the world at the moment. So um, yeah, she's doing Monday and Tuesdays. She went back yesterday, that was her first day, Monday, and she was so excited. She was up at half six, eager to go. She gets to wear her own clothes as well. So it's like, it's more exciting for her. She used to have school dinners as well, like, I don't think she's ever had, had a packed lunch. She had a packed lunch when she went to preschool, but because the school dinners are free at her school, I was like, you're having school dinners, um, which she loves anyway. She loves the school dinners. But um, now they've got to have packed lunch, so she is like over the moon about that, and she was so excited. I got her a brand new um, lunch box, and yeah. So she was up at the crack of dawn getting ready, and... Um, she literally ran in and she had the biggest smile on her face when she saw all her friends lined up and when she greeted her teacher and um, i as a parent had that kind of like worrying feeling all day i was excited for her and i knew it was the best decision that we made um but i did have that kind of worry and dread still i felt really nervous all day and i just couldn't wait to pick her up it was a bit like when she first started reception i was so excited for her but i was also like i had that sickness feeling in my stomach and i just wanted to pick her up like i wanted it to be the end of the day um so yeah she starts at 9 15 instead of um 10 to 9 which she usually does and instead of quarter past three she comes out at three o'clock now so it's a little bit different i'm still trying to like you know get used to the different times and stuff she was literally 
so happy she she said she couldn't wait to go back to like tomorrow today and she was just so excited to tell me like everything that she got up to that day and I said to her like you know did it feel any different she said no she was still able to play with her friends such as um I think they'd done like games and playing with the hula hoops and um catching a ball to each other throwing a ball to each other so you know she was still able to play with her friends communicate and just being around them that was like the best thing for her and I 100% do not regret putting her back into school I know everyone is completely different which I'll get into in a minute um but yeah she had a great time she really did and she said she learned a lot as well um and she also said that her teacher was a lot better than me which I was a little bit upset about um, but obviously we will be homeschooling her for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday um, but because she's only going two days a week because her school has obviously got to split uh, the different years uh, to make sure that they're able to do the social distancing and that. Harry, do you miss Ellie? Mm -mm. No? I think you do. No. Do you not miss Ellie? <laughs> Should we go get her? Are you going to walk? Are you going to walk or sit in your buggy? I'm going to walk, yes. I'm going to run. <laughs> that nice. Okay, we're on a school run. Go and get Ellie. Let's go and get a big sister. Is it a motorcycle? Yeah. <laughs> Is it hot, Harry? Is it hot? No. Okay, guys, we are home. It is so hot outside, so if you look a little bit sweaty, that's why. Um, but yeah, we're home. Paul's home from work as well. Hello, darling. Hi. So, we're going to do a little interview with Ellie on how her first and second day was back at school since lockdown. Uh, Come sit here, Ellie. Take a seat. <laughs> Take a seat in the hot seat. We've got Harry here. They're just having a nice, cringe cool down. How was your first and second day at school? Really good. Yeah? Are you glad to be back? Uh-huh. So... What about playtime at school? What's it like? Is it the same or...? It's not really the same. Right. But um, it's like two metres apart. Okay. But we can still chat and like play games. Oh, that's nice. What sort of games? Um, any game you want. But um, <coughs> <laughs> it scared me. What, like ca <coughs> catching a ball? Yeah. Hula hooping. You don't catch a ball, you can do skipping, hula hooping and bouncy hoppers. And then after you don't want your equipment, right. you give it to like um That was a big word. Teacher. Right. Um and they sanitise it. Yeah, they Right, okay, so they're quite on it then, aren't they? What about that, I thought of that school. What about hand one. washing? Um Do you have to I, wash your hands a lot? Yeah, you have to when you go out to the playground, you have hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> hand sanitizer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you have like kind of like it's similar to soap. Okay. Mm, because like hand. <laughs> hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> That's a big word. Okay, and so you get to still talk to your friends and like you know play with them. <laughs> what about you got your own table? Yeah. <gasps> Sorry, and you have your pet lunch at your table. <laughs> As you can tell, <laughs> Harry's very excited to have his sister back. Ah, oh, be gentle. He's tickling there. <laughs> He's so happy you're home. Oh, my goodness. He's gonna look my ears hurt. <laughs> right, Harry. Harry, where is T-Rex? There he is. And where's his other dinosaurs? Can you go and get him? No, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> right, so what about equipment? So, like, your have you got your own pens and pencils, or do you share them? If we want a pencil, like colouring pencil, we'll no. ask the teacher, 
and if you have <laughs> have you if you have done something yeah. and you're finished, you don't go up to the teacher, you just put your hand up and then they'll come. Okay, so it's very organised, isn't it? Unless you want to say anything else about school. More stuff. Okay, what, what else you want to say? Um, you asked me it. Okay, oh. so out of ten, mm -hmm. what would you give being back at school? Um, a hundred thousand. Wow. And <laughs> what's the best thing about being back at school? Is it your friends, teacher? Mm -hmm. um, Learning and my friends. Oh, I love it. Go on He's you. washing me. got a new guitar from Nanny, didn't you? Yeah. I got it ages ago. So she wants lessons, don't you? And keyboard lessons and swimming lessons. No, I don't want swimming lessons. No? No, because when, if you have um, water in your ear, then you might get an earache. Yeah, she's terrified of getting water in your ear, aren't you? Because she used to get earaches. Oh, you want to go on the digger? No, just go and toilet. Beep, 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 beep. I will share this with you. Uh, when Ellie goes to school, she's only bringing her pet lunch and some hand sanitizer and hand cream. That's all she has to bring in. She hasn't got to bring in like homework or reading book, backpack, nothing. Um, and yeah, so I saw these on Facebook. Uh, I think she is on Instagram as well. So I'll leave a link down below because I've got so many questions on uh, Instagram when I posted these saying like, where did you get it from? And I can't remember her shop name, but again, I'll leave it linked down below. But these are so good. So they have little hooks on them. So obviously they're attached to her lunch box and she can use them throughout the day so i've got hand cream in this one and um, because obviously they're washing her hands so much her hands are going to get all like dry and um, and they're just basically these like mini bottles with her name on it um, and i just think they're so lovely and then in this one is some you probably can't see it because it's clear uh, but there is some hand sanitizer in there so yeah i thought that was a really good idea and obviously it clips on there so she hasn't got to carry it in her pocket or anything. Hi guys, uh, today is Thursday and it's super early. We never actually leave the house this early unless it's like for school. Um, but we're going to a local country park with my dad, so the kids' granddads. Um, he said there's loads of baby ducks over there and he wanted to take us. Yeah. So I and thought that would be nice. On the other side yeah. this way. No, we're going to a different one, darling. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that'd be lovely. And obviously, we get to spend some time with him as well. And then he's going to drop us to my nan's house. She lives next door to him, so um, that's lovely. And we're going to spend the kind of like late morning, afternoon with her. Um, and yeah, we're really excited. We had a lovely day yesterday at my sister in law's. Um, it was so hot. I think today it's going to be hotter. And it's just a play suit from Primark. Um, this is Ellie's outfit. Can you hear Harry? Yeah. Ellie's got this dress. From Nick. She has had her hair in plaits. I love your outfit. He wants his shoes on. Do you want your shoes? Daddy's turned the lamp off, hasn't he? Yay! Mommy. Right, get your shoes. Get your shoes. Mommy. Are they not there? Are they there?
So it's about 11 o'clock now. We've just spent the morning with my dad, which was lovely. It's just started to get really hot as well. Um, but yeah, we've just arrived at my nan's house and um, just trying to find a sun cream to put on the kids. There it is, I've got it. Because it is hot. So yeah, gonna sun cream them up and we're gonna sit in the garden for a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch and just have a lovely day in the garden. Um, my skin is really bad, so please excuse that. Thank you. 